Ah, marathons. The only sport where, if a clown overtakes you, it's totally normal. Now, let's lace up those imaginary running shoes and sprint into the recent highlight of the running world, the Boston Marathon of 2024. Celebrities like Rob Gronkowski and Zdeno Chara traded in their usual sports gear for running shoes, and were yet to decide whether they were running towards the finish line or away from their day jobs. Either way, they were out there, pounding the pavement with the best of them. Evans Shebet and Helen O'Beary, the reigning champions, returned with the hopes of repeating their success. The race was on. The city of Boston was buzzing. Not only were the bees out, but also the contenders aiming to dethrone the champions. The energy was electric, and the competition was as heated as a hot pocket straight out of the microwave. The race wasn't just for the fleet-footed, though. Wheelchair participants added their own brand of speed and determination to the event. Time limits were strict, but then again, so is my diet, until I see a donut. Streaming platforms and ESPN broadcast the race live, making it the most watched event since the last time someone attempted to assemble IKEA furniture without the instructions. Prize money totaling over $1.2 million was up for grabs across various divisions, turning the event into a real-life game of Monopoly. The marathon was a testament to how far humans will go for a shiny medal and the right to say, yes, I ran 26.2 miles and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. But let's not forget the record-breaking performance at the New York City Marathon where Tamirat Tola of Ethiopia finished the race in 2 hours, 4 minutes and 58 seconds. Helen Obiri of Kenya won the women's race, making her a double threat in the marathon world. Meanwhile, in the wheelchair division, Marcel Hug and Catherine de Bruner of Switzerland proved that Swiss precision isn't just for watches. So there you have it. A day of sweat, determination and a whole lot of running. If there's one thing we can take away from this, it's that running is a lot like life. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Unless you're Tamarat Tola, then it's definitely a sprint. Until next time, keep those running shoes ready and remember the only bad race is the one you didn't run, or in my case, the one you didn't watch from the comfort of your couch.